So kits are a very effective way of accelerating a project. Almost all of our customers benefit from having a kit as a starting point. Over the years, we've developed a whole range of kits, including mobile bases, uh, a lot of different arms, and then some really unique demonstration systems like balancing platforms or uh, walking robots. It can come assembled if you want. Or we'll send them bare modules, but also all the interconnecting parts, the wires, and very clear instructions for how to put it together. Our customers that best use our kits are the ones that are really looking to kind of tinker around at the nuts and bolts layer, but still start off with something that's working, something that's intuitive. So even if you buy a pre-assembled arm like this, we give you all the instructions so that if you do want to take it apart, you can do that. You can ship this system with a computer with all the software on it. So when it comes out of the box, you literally lift it up, set it down, turn it on, fire up the heavy app, and then the demo runs. Right from any computer, I can change things like uh, the stiffness, and now the elbow is a lot stiffer. Um, and then I can make it more soft just with a press of a button. <laughs> Maybe not that soft. customers was able to really quickly, with uh, some of our accessories, get a pneumatic gripper on the end, as well as add a couple buttons so that he basically had his own uh, collaborative arm. And so this guy wasn't a robotics expert uh, by any stretch of the imagination, but he was a real maker at heart. Within a day, he was able to put all this on the arm so that he could actually not have to really interact with the computer. Once he fired things up, he could move it around, pick something up, move it around, place it down, like you would with a more kind of collaborative industrial system. One of the real advantages of having a heavy kit is because it's just on a standard network, multiple groups can be basically coming in and out and using a system at the same time. So for example, a, a class at Carnegie Mellon that's using this to teach kinematics, we have an arm sitting on a table, and during the, the labs, groups just swap in and out with their own computers, plug in, run the robot, test it out, bring it back out. So I think the people really that get the most out of their kits are the ones that treat it like a shared resource. The common thread between all of these is, is this idea of customization and also be able to combine together different parts. Sort of like Legos, some people will get a kit and then never actually even build what's in the instructions. They'll start tweaking right away and we have people that, that do that. So we, we go from one end of the spectrum to the other.